Hi, my name is Shannon Lyons and I'm the Digital Learning Coach here at Henderson County High School. And today we're here to recognize Sherry Dawson for her use of Google Meets and Google Breakout Rooms to instill collaboration with her English classes. Congratulations, Sherry Dawson, for being our e-learning leader of the month. My name is Sherry Dawson and I am an English teacher here at Henderson County High School. And I have taught English now for 21 years. And before that, I was in uh, Indiana and Illinois teaching eighth grade ELA. Um, about five years ago, our school was chosen to be part of the AP Capstone program. And so I teach the first of the two foundation courses called AP Seminar, which is a research-based class. And so I have used Google Meet breakout rooms specifically for our PT1, Performance Task 1, which is a collaborative project. Um, I do have a congenital heart condition and had open heart surgery in my 30s and so it was a little unsafe for me uh, to be teaching during uh, the period of time before we were vaccinated and so my cardiologist recommended that if there were an at home you know, option for me that I should take it and I did and so I ended up teaching from home uh, for two months. And which is kind of hard to do with the AP seminar course because it's just very, very involved. And so it's collaborative. I'm always kind of in and out of the groups, walking around the room, taking them down, to, down the hall so they can have a practice room. And uh, that just wasn't possible with me being at home. And so I did the next best thing and I learned how to use Google Meet breakout rooms. And so when the students were collaborating, and even on NTI days, when the students were collaborating, they were able to truly collaborate um, in those rooms and nobody else would hear their conversations. And so that was really nice. And I would be able to kind of pop in and out of the rooms just to see how they were doing. Uh, when the students came back in the classroom, I was still gonna be gone until today, March 11th. And so uh, there were times when I would need to, again, talk to a student individually. And I, I thought it was kind of sensitive or, he or she didn't want everybody else to hear um, some of the recommendations that I was going to make for their paper. Um, I would have them actually take their Chromebooks and go sit out in the stairwell. And then we, again, were truly having a um, private conversation. And so even when the kids were, like I said, in the classroom, I would sometimes have the ones, you know, in which the group members were all present in class that day, they could just go sit out in the hallway and then the other ones could collaborate with some of the group two students who were at home. And so that's how I've used it. And um, I'm really very proud of how these kids have, have taken to that. And they really do like breakout rooms, actually. Uh, one girl said, can we please just go into our breakout rooms? We have work to do. And I said, absolutely. So I really like them and uh, we'll continue using them and it's just perfect for a virtual environment, for an NTI environment. It, it's funny because I, I decided my one stipulation was for the students when they did go into the breakout rooms that they had to show their faces to their group mates. I just felt like that was a little bit more personal. So on a whole class meet I didn't necessarily you know, insist that they turn their cameras on, but I always insisted when they were in their breakout rooms. And when I would drop in on their breakout rooms, every single one of those cameras was on. So I was very proud of them. So it made it very personal that way. Congratulations, Sherry Dawson, for being our e-learning leader of the month. Thank you very much. I'm very honored. Thank you.